All right, and we are go for the mystery hour today. It is Tuesday, but this is going to be going up on Friday. Hope you guys don't have to fool a bully belly from Thanksgiving. Or, you know, it's National Gluttony Day, so whatever. This is the day that we discover the truth behind the hat man and what the fuck is going on with him or something. Because I'm sick of staring at him and wondering if I got it wrong. With that said, let's get into it. Do I still have that turkey up? I, I don't think I do. I don't think I do. But I do have this dancing zebra, so that's what we're going to do. All right, let's get in. Now, I wonder if that dancing zebra there is going to be a bother. It probably won't. It, it probably won't mess with anybody. So, 42 fates solved. We are two-thirds through this game. And according to Steam, I've been playing this for 58 hours. That's probably because one day I had it just rolling on in the background without realizing it was still on. So, so okay, we are after one man. One man only this episode. One man that I am sick of looking at. The Hat Man. It's hat time. Exactly. That is totally right. Remove all bookmarks. No, save all. Save all the bookmarks. The Hat Man first appeared in Murder. So that's where we're going to go. We're going to we're going to discover this guy from beginning to end. We're going to watch him. Like we're just going to observe him and take a look at him. And that's what we do in this game. We look at stuff. Like this guy's ass. Mmm. Filipino ass. Huck Seng Lao, you have been found guilty by self-confession <laughs> of the murder that's of messy. Nancio Pasquale. That's messy. As captain of this ship, he's right next to the, the captain authority of the East India Company and thus the crown of England. I he's kneeling to death by firing line. <laughs> Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Right, sir. Right, sir. Right, sir. Right, sir. We just know he's an officer. He's got two two triangles. This guy should be easy to figure out, but we haven't yet. We know that the fourth mate took him down with a gun. This is a weird setup. Why is he kneeling? Like, as if you couldn't... Is he trying to look under this guy's ropes or hat? Make sure it's the same guy? Who are you? Bosun's mate. We're pretty sure he's the bosun's mate. The other hat man. So, for the most part, this just gives us... Mm. Have we confirmed that it was the fourth mate that killed him? I think we can. Do, do we actually know who the fourth mate is? Second mate... Third mate. Where is the fourth mate? Fourth mate, yes. So we know John Davies was the guy holding the gun that shot his head off. Which would be... Nope, not this guy. Uh, this guy? So Davies... Okay, Davies was trying to do a kind of mutiny... He stole the cabinet and took people out to sea. God. Oh, I'm sorry for that yawn. Davies saw something. Caused a murder. Who's Davies looking at? He's looking at this guy. No, he's looking at this guy. This setup right here. He grabbed the Formosan royalty and drag them out with their fancy cabinet for some odd reason because he saw some kind of prize to be taken we might take a closer look at that if we have to i really don't want to 
But the gist of it is that he did something bad and he was a general asshole. Hey, chicken. The sun's like right there. Hmm. All right, but that doesn't help. All, the only thing odd about that is that he was kneeling. So next was the unholy captive on the deck. No? Gun deck. Towards the front. No, that's the wrong way. This way. Hat man is my priority. Everybody else, like the whole thing with Davies. Eh. Yep, this is it. All right, let's see what we can tell about the hat man here. Top hat guy was leading the firing squad. I think he was just ordered to... We never saw this guy die, but... We do know that he is the captain's steward. Take it slow. Once gentlemen. a Why is that locked? Oh, hey, we got stuff up here. He's got a gun. Definitely military. So one thing we know about the hat man is he owns a gun. Yeah, it's a flintlock. Who else holds a gun? Why? Although, it doesn't mean he owns a gun, just that he has a gun. We're still sure this is the bosun's mate, right? I'm only doing that because the hat. That is definitely the bosun. This is the other guy with the top hat. Not the same kind of hat. You know what? We don't know that this is the bosun's mate. But this guy is not anyone's mate. Can't be. Boswain, foreman in charge of the general crew operations. If anything, I thought this guy would be the bosun. Is that the captain? That is hat? Yeah, it's the captain with that is hat. The first mate. Third mate. I'm not worried about the mates. I'm just kind of looking to look right now. Not 100% sure what I'm looking for. I'm just trying to observe everything. Can't be the bosun's mate. It'd be ridiculous. Why would the bosun be way out here, but this guy's right next to the captain? And the first mate and everybody. What the hell is going on? I mean, should I call him the bosun's mate and see if it does anything? Because that seems a little like cheating. Now, and since I'm not sure, I don't want to mess with it. So that's a no there. We do know he's some kind of officer. No, I don't really need to go back in time right now. I notice the drawing he's standing, but in the actual scene he's kneeling. That could be... I don't... I can't think of any reason why that would be significant.
Next up is also the Unholy Captives when they're sawing the guy's leg off. Let's see what we can discover from there. I mean, this might lead nowhere. We might never figure out who the Hat Man is. And even the zebra is telling us to stop right now, but we're not going to stop. Put away your stop sign, zebra. We're not going to stop. So the cargo hold is way downstairs. Okay. What if he's the hat in time's grandfather? That would explain the hat. <laughs> oh, stop being a baby, it's just a leg. He was sorted, that's right. Incidentally, Hat and Time, a great game. Where's the Hat Man? There's the Hat Man. He's like some kind of... It's like this is the ship steward. It really does feel like this is the ship's steward. No. No way. Uh-uh. This guy is not Indian. He's not first mate either. We know who third mate is. We've got everybody. Like, bosun's mate is the next highest up. Then there's gunner and gunner mate, which we haven't identified. It's probably because he's acting like a steward after the steward went crazy. I mean, that's possible. The ship steward was spiked. It's Zengi Sate. We just kind of guessed that this was him, but they all have the steward uniform. Where does this guy sleep? Where the hell is he? He's got that gun again. You know what? We need to check out some quarters and see who has a gun. Who owns a gun? So that is his gun. He carries a gun on him. The zebra's had enough. He's having to sit down now. So, who are some perspectives here? Like, who could he be, right? Uh, we can check out the bosun's stores. I don't think he's the bosun's mate anymore. Even though that's just like... That gun just messes with things. I don't know where this is. Uh, this is passenger cargo. Okay. This is bosun storage. I think they both are. I don't think anybody sleeps down here. This place is usually called like a bilge deck. Kind of surprised the cargo is held so far down, but it does make sense. You want all the weight at the bottom of the ship in order to keep it upright. I don't see any kind of living quarters or anything. This is the wrong deck for this kind of search. Okay, next we have the Orlop deck. Now, there are possibilities here. Carpenters, he's not a carpenter's. Gunner's storage, but no gunner's... This guy seems pretty high on the list. 
passenger cabin, captain's quarters. Second mate, fourth mate, first mate, third mate, bosun, bosun's mate. Uh, upstairs. I want to see what the bosun's mate looks like. Uh, it is the first quarter on the right. This place. This is the bosun's mate's quarters. Sheets. Bags. Some rope. A cannon. That must be real nice. Although, nice fresh sea air. Assuming it's not raining. I mean, we already know who the bosun is, but... Got a whistle to call everybody. I think that's what this is. I think that's a whistle. I don't know what I'm looking for. So, I don't think he's the bosun's mate anymore. What is this thing in the back? This right here. This is where we've seen him before. Let's so walk over those two dead bodies, including his dead body. We'll get to that eventually. What is this place? It's got toilets. Toilets are good. Pooping is happening. But it's also got like... It's, it's just like a general area. In a second. Where's the gunner's quarters? The gunner has stores, but no quarters. Because he does feel like a gunner. He's got a gun. He is. He seems military. Okay, what's the next one? Interesting. Soldier of the Sea. He was in that battle. When they invaded the ship and started climbing down inwards. Which is pretty crazy as far as soldiers goes. Those sea critters don't have any tactics. Or lop deck. Downstairs. Good. I'll also get a look at the gunner's place uh, after we check this out. Let's see how this man fights. Alright, hat man. Let's see what happened next to you. Um, wake up, zebra. Come on. We're no use. We're no use. Burn it quick. Who said that? There's the boss one. I feel like this guy's the gunner. He's handing out equipment from the gunner's store. Can I walk around here and get a closer look of what's going on in the gunner area? Nerp, narp. I know who that guy is. He's throwing something to burn. These two guys are getting strangled. Where's Hatman? Upstairs, maybe? Sorry if I'm moving too quickly. I'm getting impatient. Wait, where's Hatman? Who are these two guys? That's the carpenter. Oh, that's Nathan Peters. I've already seen what goes on with him. Um, it says Hatman's in this memory. <laughs> it's just, is that him leaning? No, that's Peters. Nathan's Peter. 
I'm 12. Oh, that's right. He was opening up the the uh, bottom for some reason. Maybe to get more men from the cargo in. I can't really discern anything from looking at this guy here. Except that he was pushing over the bottom. Calling him the gunner for now. He's handing out guns from the gunner's stores. What else am I supposed to think? Okay. Ah, Hat Man's driving me crazy, guys. Alright. Gunner store is forward and to the left. I don't see any hammock. Okay, this is the powder room. Which, if you don't know, they were really worried about powder lighting up, so... They covered it with wet cloth, and you have windows here in order to keep light. Uh, light can go in, but no sparks can accidentally ignite anything. And then you've got this window you can open up and start handing people uh, bags when it's time to get the cannons filled. So that's what that's about, but I don't see any more clues in here that I can use. I don't even know if that guy actually was the gunner. I just Maybe he's the gunner's mate. You know what? That would make a kind of sense. Christian Wolf is the gunner. Aulis Waiter is the gunner's mate. Kinda makes sense. What's the next memory? Oh, this guy who we may or may not ever find out his name. Okay, this won't help much, but might as well check it out. Okay. Just checking around. Blood, blood, blood. Blood droplets. Blood, blood. More blood droplets. Alright. <laughs> this is him. <laughs> Okay, I got it. I got it. This is the gunner, and that's the gunner's mate in the top hat. He's not the bosun's mate. Okay, this is the gunner. He's handing out equipment through the window. That's got to be him. We'll take a closer look at how he died, and maybe that's what's keeping this stopped up. But this guy is the gunner's mate, because he's in with him, getting everything ready. Now, the bosun makes sense. Yeah, he's doing that. Why does he have... Blasted with a cannon by a terrible beast. Who knows if that's correct. But this is the best guess I can figure. They're both in the gunner's stores right now. Plus, this guy is super military. Like, that is a very military outfit. And the gunner, if I remember right... Um... Glossary. Yeah, military officer in charge of weapons. And that guy looks so... That's the hat man. 
That's gotta be it. There's there's nothing else I can think of that makes sense. That's gotta be the hat man. Man, that was that was like perfect timing on the music there. Okay. Um that was what, Soldiers of the Sea that we found him in. The next thing he's in is the Doom. Wait, do I got yeah, I do got this right. Huh. Well, I mean, we've already solved this, so it's not that big a deal, but... It might help us figure this guy out. While we're here. Thinking about it. What? What are you doing? Darn it. Get back to the... Soldier of the Sea. Where is this? It's in the cargo. Eh, I don't really feel like doing that right now. I want to continue following the Hat Man. During the Doom, there was an explosion. I thought the guy exploded was the gunner's mate because it just kind of made sense to me that he he would be carrying the uh, the keg. All right, here we go. Midshipman Peter Malloy exploded. So we figured that guy out. Where's the hat man? Well, well. He's carrying all the equipment. Alright, I think we got it. I think this guy actually is the gunner. Probably scared the hell out of the, uh, out of the beast. Huh. We said this guy was knifed by him. We might find out more information. Next one is in the Doom. Oh. Oh, yeah. So, okay. All right, Hat Man. I think that's it. Boy Swain tosses it to Gunner to start firing at shit. Whoa. Three guys thrown overboard. No way of really determining who they are from here, but I think we already kind of played that game. What are you throwing? Oh, you're throwing a spear? Good job. Oh, hey, it's the Russian. It's the one Russian we absolutely know whose name is. There's another midshipman. Huh. Can't really discern anything else from here. 
Okay. At some point, we're going to start running into, like, when the uh, murders started happening. But before that, Abigail. We're here to visit again, Abigail. Ah. Oh. This is starting to get exhausting. It's the helmsman. Figured you out. We figured you out. Figured you out. Good. See, it's starting to become more and more like the individuals that. We haven't figured you out. I thought we had. Like, I thought... I thought we figured out... Oh, no. No, I'm thinking of somebody else that has the tattoo. That was during the calling. Okay, that's another Baldy. That's the bosun. Who... Is he dead? How did he die? Torn apart by beast. That's right. We kind of figured that part out. Where's the hat? I don't even see the hat's hat. Where is the hat? He wouldn't be in the top sale, right? No, that's Wei Lee. We figured him out a long, long while ago. Where the hat is hell? I mean, where's the hell is hat? He's in this memory, right? Like, am I right? Yeah. What's he doing? Where is the hat? Gunny? Where are you, Gunny? Oh. He's doing what gunners do. Is that him with the sword? No, it isn't. He's, it's the him with the gun, but who's him with the sword now? Oh, this. This is Martin. And this is how we know this is Martin. Because she's she was asking Martin where's the captain and we know that there's only like one Martin on the ship that makes sense Martin Perot third mate also in the picture Martin Perot has a mate's hat on so that's how we know this is him so we got his name down. I don't think we can learn anything else about Hat here. Or anybody else, really. Escape. Now things start to get interesting. This is when the bosun died. Easy now, you're in a bad way. The squid, where's my Frenchman? Squid's gone, your mate was torn apart. You're 15 seconds behind, that's pretty good, and I am at a 0% drop rate, so my internet's doing fine today, hell yeah. It's funny what uh, restarting the, the, the router will do for you. Where is this? Gun deck, way in back. Under the captain's quarter, even. Alright, let's see what we're dealing with here.
Alfred Clastill. What accent is that? Austrian. Okay. Fourth mate, Davies. As is, that's right, this is before Davies grabbed everybody. Still sure that's the gunner. I'm not sure about the other guy being the gunner's mate anymore. And I'm not 100% sure about the... Uh, how some of these people died, like the mates in general. I'm pretty sure their names are interchangeable, so I'm not going to worry about that. Two mates. Not sure who either of them are. Going to stick with my best guess. Still has a gun. He's the gunny. All right. Actually, I got a better way to do that. Go on to the next memory. Which is the very next memory. Started way up here during the fight scene. Which fight scene? This fight scene? Yeah. Sorry to go through this so slowly, but I just want to be certain of everything. First mates killed by this guy. Oh, these guys are escaping. Where's Gunny? This top man again. In good time. There's Brennan, his first mate. I think Gunny was in charge of mutiny here. Davies and Gunny start talking about mutiny. And then this guy hears about it. Huh. It's starting to come together, right? Let them go. Whoa! Okay, if this guy is Gunny with a knife, I guess because he wants to be stealthy, but I didn't think anything else is going to happen from it, right? Then this is accurate. Then this is the gunner. And this guy was knifed by the gunner. So what the hell is the problem? Is it the names? Is he a different midshipman? There's only the one midshipman. I have no option for any other midshipman. Which means, by process of elimination, this is the only one. So that just leaves this guy's death. It says he was killed by Davies. What? Why? I assume they were both talking about mutiny. This guy's running, like, overhears it, runs away. So, so the gunny grabs a knife, runs over here to stab him, gets him stabbed. 
while this whole commotion is coming down, like, because let's not forget that this kind of craziness is happening upstairs. And I, I see a gunshot fire. Oh, that's, that's Miss What's Her, that's Emily shooting him. Then Davy, for some reason, decides, hey, you know what the best thing to do with my co-conspirator would be now that he's killing the, uh, the only uh, eyewitness to, to our plans? Let's shoot the fuck out of my co-conspirator. Uh, all right. Last memory with the hat man, who we're pretty sure is the gunny. Knocked his hat right off. Killed by Davies. Davies was hanging back. Davies didn't want to kill his co conspirator. He was killed by the mid. Sh no, that is Davies. What the fuck? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Why would Davies shoot him? Why would Davies shoot him? And he shot him with his own gun. His gun is gone. So Davies just walked up, grabbed the gun, shot his brains and hat off. Out. Ruined the hat. And not just because of the blood. That's, dry cleaning is not cheap. Meanwhile, Brennan's probably walking downstairs like, Hey, what's going on down here? With his cudgel. Or club. Cudgel's a blade, isn't it? Shame about the hat. Yeah, I know. See? What would Hat Kid have to say about this? A single tear falling down her cheek. Okay, we got this guy. There's nothing more to tell about this guy's story. We're almost damn sure that he's the gunny. That military outfit, everything says he's the gunner. He was shot with a gun by Davies, that asshole. And that's all we can say about this. And the final thing to say is that this guy died because he was knifed by the gunny. The only thing that we don't necessarily have right <coughs> is whether or not he's a midshipman. But I think he is because he's crawling towards the Midshipman Lodge here. Which, I admit, doesn't mean anything. Is there anything else we can do to tie him to Midshipman? All right. We're here. We might as well finish up the whole conspiracy thing. Hey, first lag of the night. First mate. The stream just stopped, he says. Oh, yay. No, you're cut. Don't leave me. 
bear up, huh? son. I'll stay with you. Tell Pete's mother I... 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 Cha, 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 cha. Davies is dead. I thought Davies died a while back. Best I... What? To pull him back, to save him. You tell her yourself. <laughs> Brennan! Bring the surgeons! <laughs> Wait a second. I thought Davies. I thought Davies is already dead. Where's the calling? Oh, Nichols was the asshole. Huh. Okay, hopefully that fixed the stream. Meanwhile, for some reason I was getting Nichols and Davies mixed up, but no, they're... I see nothing wrong with this grouping. Yay, it's back. I see nothing wrong with this grouping, but... Who are you? Why are you even here? Oh. Well. He died in the midshipmen's quarters. He's got to be the last midshipman. But it doesn't seem to be that easy because he's got three triangles. I am pretty sure we have the gunner down. I'm very confident this is the gunner. But what if this wasn't a midshipman? What if this is the gunner's mate? No, because he's he died in the midshipmen's quarters and he's with two other midshipmen. There are only three midshipmen. Something stinks. Something about all this stinks. You look fairly Chinese. We got any other Chinese top topmen? We haven't really tried any of that. Can't think of a reason why any of this is wrong. Like, Davies was clubbed by Brennan right here. Because Davies shot Christa, Christian right here. Could be Gunner and Gunner's mate are mixed up. This guy does not look like a midshipman, though. This guy does not look like the Gunner's mate. Let's try it. Oh my god, Doom Lad, you're brilliant.
Delay is almost 60 seconds. Don't care, my friend. You deserve a beer tonight. Because that was the trick. That was what was throwing me around. The guy in the hat, even though he looks more important than Top Hat, was the gunner's mate. Damn, man. Everything else was correct. Who the hell is the way out of here? Oh, there it is. So, figured it out. It is done, son. In the bag. Ghost closing doors. I like to imagine that there's a ghost that's wandering the ship whose sole purpose is just to like, yeah. We need to fix the midshipman killed by the gunner's mate. Yeah, you're right. And we're still pretty sure that was the gunner. Or, I mean, that was the midshipman. So, okay. Cool. Anybody else need fixing? Just this weird guy. 14 memories. He's been in a lot of memories. He perished in... The End Part 3. Oh, that's right. He was killed by the captain. Clubbed? Was he really clubbed? I remember he, while everybody was giving a frontal assault, he was the one running upstairs so that he could jump down into the captain's quarter from behind. This guy. Yeah, I would call that being clubbed. Crushed, no, no, no. Speared, maybe. Struck. No, that's wrong too. Suicide apart. No, I guess he really was clubbed. By the captain. And we don't know his name. So, here we have him. Even though he's kind of awkward... I guess anybody would be awkward when they got a club to the face. See if there's anything about him interesting. He's got leather shoes. Nice to know. We're pretty sure he's a sea man and not a top man. That's actually pretty easy to see. Bookmark memories. And now... I'm looking for the bit with the, uh, when lightning struck. If he's there during the lightning strike, that means that this guy's actually a top man. Nope. But of course he is in one of the hammocks here. Everybody's here. Doesn't tell us much. Well, I got five minutes. Let's take a look at this guy. See if we can't, you know, solve one more mystery while we're here. Where is this located? Or lop deck. Outside the purser's office. Oh, it's this guy. All right, let's see if we can find him. Oh, there he 
already got him named. Why is the king? What's? Why is the king sitting out here? Okay, where's our mystery top man? It's not one of the passengers. Can't be. We've identified all the passengers. Think that purser's in here? No. Really nothing to discern. Wait a second. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Wait a s what? No, he isn't here. This is the red herring. How did I mess that up? I messed that up good too, not just a little bit. His next visit was actually <gasps> with the lightning strike. This guy might be a top man, in which case. That lowers the things that... You know, it actually makes sense, too, because he's always, like, monkeying around. There's our man. He's not a seaman. He's a top man. And the reason why that's interesting... What? He's not an unknown midshipman. What? what? No. Unknown top man. But the reason why that's interesting is there's... There's one guy, there's one top man left who isn't uh, Chinese. Right? Right? Let me check the manifest. Yeah. That's it. Lewis Walker. This is Lewis Walker. Boom. Process of elimination, really. And we know he was clubbed by the captain. One more down. So who are we going after next? We got this guy, I think. He's the Russian. Yeah. We can start after the Chinese. That might wor be worth doing. Hmm. It is coming on close to an hour now. I'd say we made a fair bit of cro process, pro progress. The can you tell I'm tired? We know top, uh, Wei Li, but that's really the only top man we know. Oh, and, and the Persian. As far as the Chinese go, we only know Wei Li, though. So, okay. And all three Chinamen left are top men. So I think that's what we're going to do tomorrow, when the stream continues. I think I'm going to go after these three Chinese top men. And we'll call that good. It looks like it hurt. That'll also make a nice even three for uh, getting everything down. I don't like staring right into that guy's crotch. He's electrocuted crotch. His balls shriveled via the wrath of God. <laughs> when when God castrates you, you know something. You did something wrong. All right, let's let's just call this good for now, and uh, okay. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. All right, 
Well, let me say thank you to everybody who was watching, people lurking in the background. I'm pretty sure Vern is back there. Anybody who's watching on YouTube, thank you very much. Thank you for spending a little bit of your day with me. One twenty-fourth of your time per day has been spent on this video. All right. Everybody have a wonderful night. <laughs>